How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today we are talking chuck roast. Now I've seen a lot of people suggest that chuck roast is just as good, if not better than a brisket. I'm here to test that theory out. We're gonna cook a chuck roast just like a brisket, smoke it, get it nice and tender, see how it compares. I'm hard pressed to believe that a chuck roast can be as good as a brisket, but we're gonna see if it's at least comparable. So if you have a smaller gathering, maybe you cook a couple chuck roasts and try and pass them off as brisket and see if anyone would notice. So today we have a nice dry aged chuck roast from Porter Road. It's about two and a half pounds. We're gonna smoke this at 275 degrees on our Lone Star pellet grill, get it wrapped up, get it tender and see how it turns out. Seasonings today, very simple, kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper, granulated garlic, this is an easy cook, it's gonna be a great cook. So let's bring in and show you how we're going to prep our chuck roast. All right, so what I have here is about a two and a half pound chuck roast. Now this has been dry aged, this is from Porter Road. If you've never had their meat before, it's extremely good quality and it is tied off. And I think we're gonna be able to get some nice slices out of this. There's a lot of good marbling and fat on here. So I think it's gonna be a really good chuck roast and it's not too big, so it shouldn't be too long of a cook. First thing we're gonna come in with is some kosher salt. This is just some diamond crystal kosher salt. We're keeping this cook pretty simple today and just letting the flavor of the meat speak for itself. Just going with a nice little SPG on this cook today. So I'll get this all all seasoned up liberally with kosher salt and then we'll finish seasoning it up and you can see here this is basically two chunks that have been tied together which is fine by me get our edges all right next we're gonna come in with some granulated garlic this is just from Costco I love this garlic so we're just gonna get a nice dose on that All right, at this point, we're just gonna pick up any of the leftovers on the board here if we can. All right, and then finally, we're just coming in with some table grind black pepper. Like I said, keeping it real simple today. Salt, pepper, garlic. This is gonna be amazing. All right, and that's looking good to me. We're just gonna let this hang out on the board here while we get the Lone Star Grills pellet grill fired up. We're gonna be running at 275 degrees to start this cookout. And we're just gonna let it get some good smoke and get a good bark development. So I'll meet you guys out at the cooker when it's time to get this on. All right guys, so we got our chuck roast on. The Lone Star Grill's pellet grill is coming up to temp. We got it set for 275 degrees. We're just gonna let this thing get a good smoke bath in here. Probably come back and check on it in two, three hours. See where the temp is, see how the bark's looking. But yeah, I'll bring you back in a few hours, let you know how long it's been and let you know where we're sitting on it. But looking phenomenal so far. All right, so it's actually been about four hours since we last checked in. And just to give you an idea where we're at, we are sitting at but 175 degrees and dead center of this chuck roast. So it's looking good, it's barked up, nothing's coming off. So at this point, we're gonna get it wrapped up and then to wrap it up, you can see I just put it in a foil pan. I'm gonna throw in one can of Campbell's Beef Consomme. This is just gonna add a really nice beefy element to this. And it's gonna be nice when we slice this up, we can soak our slices in there a little bit just to help keep some moisture in there. And then at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and get this covered up with some aluminum foil. Now at this point, we're just cooking to tenderness. I'm gonna probably start checking in about an hour, hour and a half. I'm looking for probably 205 to 210 plus, just depending on how this feels. We've gotta go by feel on this one. There's no set temp on these chuck roasts. We, we're not gonna shred this. We wanna be able to slice it into nice slices. So it's gonna be a little bit less tender than we would if we shred it, but we want it pretty dang close. So I'll let you know how long it's been when we check back in. We're still running at 275 degrees. So probably about an hour, hour and a half, we'll check back in and see how we're doing. So we'll see you guys then. All right, so it has been an hour and 30 minutes. We're just gonna go ahead and check our tenderness here, see where we're at. Ooh, you can see that is looking good. Oh, and that's feeling pretty good. We're at 210, 211, and that is like straight butter in there. That feels really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that feels fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this off just like this with the lid open. I'm gonna let it sit on the counter for 15 minutes. That way this bark can reset itself. Then I'll cover it up and I'll rest it for about an hour, bring you guys back, we'll slice it, do a taste test, see how it turned out. But yeah, leaving it open like this, 15 minutes, let that bark reset, then cover it up, let it rest on the counter for about an hour, whatever. And then we'll slice into it and see how we did. So we'll see you guys in about an hour and 15 minutes. 
All right, so it has been an hour. We're gonna go ahead and slice into our chuck roast here. I just removed that twine that you saw around it. Get that set right there. Plenty of good jus right there. We'll put our slices in there so they can rest when they're done. So I'm just gonna come in and just start slicing this up. Oh, slicing like absolute butter. Look at that, nice and juicy. That looks awesome. Get a few of these slices out of here. Beautiful. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. I mean, extremely tender, just butter tender. That looks phenomenal. I'm gonna keep slicing this up. All right, check that out. We have a beautiful smoke ring on there. We have tons of moisture inside and that just pulls apart effortlessly. I mean, that is phenomenal. It smells super smoky. This is gonna be fantastic. Let's jump out and let's do the taste test. All right, guys, so we're gonna do the taste test. We're gonna find out if this is better than brisket or at least somewhat comparable. But beautiful slices here, extremely tender. I mean, that's really nice. Cheers. I'm not gonna lie, this just melts in your mouth. This is so good. I'm gonna get a little bit of the jus on here. Just dripping. Cheers. That just elevates it. You get the rendered beef fat in there, the tallow, plus the consomme, which just adds a nice beefiness to it. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. I'm going in for another bite here. I can't say that it's better than brisket, but it's kind of comparable. I'd say it's comparable to the brisket point, at least this chuck roast was. I mean, it was a dry age. It had nice marbling in it. It was cooked properly. So I'd say it's comparable as far as tenderness to a brisket point and the fact that it just melts in your mouth. I mean, the flavor is just fantastic and just salt, pepper, garlic. Nice, simple, easy cook. So I'm not gonna say it's better than brisket because brisket's phenomenal. But I think this is a nice alternative rather than cooking a whole brisket if it's just a couple people or you know just yourself. You can cook this just like a brisket and it's a great option as long as you do it properly. And I'd say that this was done properly. And you know what? We even got a little end piece here, completely covered in bark, like a nice little burnt end I've had sitting in that jus. Cheers. So beefy, so delicious. Guys, if you haven't tried this before, I highly recommend giving it a try. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.